Hey guys, welcome back to another video on blaze 2 k and there's a new handheld that we covered in a previous video called the 1X Fly. It's now live on Indiegogo if you want to get those early bird deals. Let's get into it on blaze 2 k and if you love handheld gaming and want more of it on your YouTube homepage every day, then please click that like, click the subscribe, and more importantly, click the like button, I mean the harp. Click the bell icon if you can. Anyways, come follow me on Twitter as well. Let's get into it on blaze 2 k So guys, the 1X Fly Indiegogo campaign is live now and the goal's already been reached. So here's the Indiegogo page. I'll put the link to it in the video description if you want to go check it out. They actually reached out to me back before the before the Indiegogo went live, sent me some of the market material and says, Hey Blaze, you want to tell you about tell your fans or tell your subscribers about about our new handheld that's coming out? I says, Yeah. And he says, We don't have any review units to send out to you, but you know, why not do a video on it? I'm like, okay, sure, why not? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, um, this was ages ago and we covered it in a video before, but then Indiegogo is now live and there might still be some early, oh, there is, there's a super early bird price, $739 1X Fly available now. Now, what I like about this thing is it's a really pocketable, small, mini handheld. It's the most compact and powerful 7840U handheld out there supposedly right now and it looks pretty nice it looks like the sort of thing you could slip in your pocket kind of like a nintendo switch light and then let's watch the launch trailer shall we let's take a let's take a look at the launch trailer and see what it's all about one x fly up to 64 gigabytes of lp ddr5 so up to 64 gigs around i think that could be overkill i think 16 or 32 is more than enough um for like the power of the APU. Um, obviously, if you're connecting up to monitors and you're going to be using Chrome and a thousand tabs, then obviously that may be a different case, but 64 gig, up to 64 gig. The One X Fly, it's got the RGB on the thumbsticks and it's also got a customizable bit at the bottom right on the handle. Um, hold joysticks, nine ambient light modes, 30 patterns. A whole linear um, triggers as well, nice. John, do you want to go hiking? Of course. He says, oh, of course, see you soon. And look, I've got a feeling he's going to bring that 1X fly with him. Oh, yeah, look, slides it into his pocket. Seven inch. So it's going to have, let's scroll back a little bit there. Seven inch ultra bezel IPS display. Not OLED, sadly. But here's the big draw. All right. It's one of the only other handhelds that has a 120 hertz refresh rate um, 1080p display. So seven inches in a super small form factor with barely any bezel. And if you look at the edit in here, like they've overlaid the gameplay on top of the device. You can see because the gameplay goes past the screen here. That's kind of bad edit in there but there we go oh look it's moving around a little bit um so you've got 120 hertz and it's showing you the difference between 60 hertz there so you can switch between 60 and 120 if you want to 1080p display what does it say there about it uh meet the stunning full hd experience touring time so the guy's gonna go hiking he's gonna whip out his 1x fly customize it personalized emblem your console your command and i like it's got how it's got a normal usb port at the top of it look at that See, one normal USB port. Um, it's got the USB-C and it's got a headphone jack on the top. Nice. I believe it's also got a USB-C at the bottom here. Here's that One X Console Gaming Center. Your full control. Uh, your full control over the games. So it looks a good bit more advanced than some of the other software overlays that we see. That's kind of good. Gives you control over fan curves. Tailor made program, uh, tailor made programmable buttons unlock effortless key combos. So it looks like they're putting their extra buttons on the top next to the triggers and the bumpers, kind of like, um, kind of like, I Neo does, right? Look at that, FIFA 2023. The game launcher looks alright, doesn't it? Ergonomic design, fair, perfectly fits in your hand. You can change the fan curves, liquid bearing fan, 4700 RPM. Nice. Six axis sensor, so you three axis gyroscope, and I believe what's that? What else is that? Did it say rumble motor or did it say something else there? Three axis accelerometer, okay. This guy's just having a blast in the car, isn't he? That's what I, this is this is the this is the thing I like about these handheld consoles overall, including the Steam Deck, the Ally, the Ioneos, and um obviously now this is the fact that you can take your whole PC gaming library, whether it be indie games, emulators and ROMs, or AAA releases that just came out on the go anywhere. Like, try see the Nintendo Switch do that, okay? 65 watt GAN charger. 
outdoor time. Oh, here he goes. He's hiking up the hill. Does he have... Hold on a second. They're whipping it out their pocket. Was that in his pocket when he was climbing up? Let's just do a little bit of detective work here. Okay. Okay, he's hiking. Um, those pockets are looking pretty empty. Yep, that pocket's empty. Look, not, not a console in that pocket at all. Yep. Oh, but here they are. The, mag the, the consoles magically come out. <laughs> uh, that's good, though. Downward faking, downward facing speakers. Yeah. Whoa. They just got knocked back. Almost fell off the cliff there because they were blown away by the Harmon, the Harmon audio effects sound. So it seems like they've got a big effort into speakers. There's some other consoles I've got my hands on that maybe don't have the best audio. ROG Ally, great audio. Steam Deck, pretty good audio. There's one other one that isn't very good. I'll let you guess. 1X Fly. Nice, there we go. And Inigo goes live. So, we've got different price ranges here. You can buy 16 gig and 512 gigabyte. Or sorry, 16 gigs RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD for 739. That is very pricey. They're not trying to compete with the Steam Deck here. Uh, 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, 889. 32 gigs of RAM, two terabyte SSD, 969. And obviously, if you want to go absolute balls to the wall here, 64 gigs of RAM, two terabyte, and four terabyte at 1199 and 1299. So there's the prices. Um, the, these prices are limited to 50 units each, and we'll go up to their early bird pricing, which is $60 more. On top of that, every order within the first 48 hours we'll get a free silicone protective case so you'll get a free case with what looks like a little um pop socket thing in the back to help you hold it i guess um and use it as a stand kind of cool um so there we go it's made by it's obviously coming from one netbook and if one x if if they're wanting me to do a little unboxing and review feel free to reach out you obviously have before and I'm really excited about it. I think this is going to be like the small version of the ROG Ally, right? A more pocketable, more portable version of the ROG Ally. And obviously you've got those options. Um, you've got those options to go up to 64 gigs of RAM, which you can't do in the ROG Ally, um, which is kind of nice. And obviously you've got up to, I'd imagine, four terabytes of storage in something almost as small as a Nintendo Switch Lite, which is insane. So there we go, guys. Let me know what you think in the description. I mean, in the description, in the comment section down below. And um, go check out our links as well down below for the best Steam Deck and ROG Ally accessories. I worked really hard on the list, and you'll find it down below. I'm always adding cool new accessories. So link in the pinned comment and the video description. You'll find a link to my favorite accessories for the Steam Deck and ROG Ally. And I'll also put a link to the Indiegogo. Go, go buy it if you're wanting to buy it. Be quick, be quick, because the early bird will be ended soon. Anyways, I'm blaze 2 okay? I love you and I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one. Please subscribe, click the bell icon, click the subscribe button, obviously, and um, come follow me in x.com or Twitter now, as if you want. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.